We got a super late start today. It's almost two o'clock in the afternoon. We are finally at the beach. We're switching to the GoPro. We're gonna go swimming. We have zero experience snorkeling, but these two are gonna teach us. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna die. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Lydia's better at snorkeling than me. I loved it. My facial hair got in the way, so we're gonna run back to the duplex and I'm gonna maybe take care of that, so. We had a really good time. We saw a couple of fish. I tried to catch them on the GoPro, but I was also flailing in the water, trying not to drown myself. So I don't know if I caught any or not, but Huge thank you to Lynn for teaching us how to snorkel and not kill ourselves, and to my dad for giving us a lot of pointers as well. We only have one day left here in Hawaii, and I hope we get to do it again tomorrow. We're gonna run back to the room so Billy can maybe shave off his wee beard, and then we have something really, really cool going on tonight, courtesy of Lynn, who planned it for us. I cannot wait, super excited. Mm -hmm. I have shaved and now we're gonna go and see some manta rays hopefully we are getting to do a night dive well not really a dive I guess more of like a snorkel, snorkel. either way um, we have only snorkeled for the first time an hour ago uh, and Lynn paid for us and my dad to go see the manta rays at night I have no idea what to expect. She said that it's beautiful. It's something we should not miss out on. I can't wait, I'm so excited. We're gonna shoot the rest of the vlog probably on the GoPro, which means, uh, cause when the mic gets water in it, you basically can't hear anything. Yeah. It's gonna be hopefully a lot of beautiful images of amazing fish and music probably. Ultimately a really good time. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> This bay is called Keoho Bay. Now Keoho Bay is a very special place because it is the birthplace of the Manta Ray Tour. It actually all started in the 1970s right in front of the Sheraton Hotel. It's during the construction of the hotel, they're working all day and all night. Now at night, that's some lights on the outside of it. Those lights were shining in the water. Then it started attracting a manta ray every single afternoon. Now at first they had no idea why, but then they figured out. Those lights that were shining in the water attract plankton. So what a couple of guys did was get a surfboard, put some lights on the bottom of it, they're in the water. Sure enough, when they turned it on, the lights attracted plankton, the plankton attracted a manta ray, and then the manta ray attracted tourists. <laughs> it started, and it started a whole industry. Now, right here in Keoho Bay and up north at Garden Eel Cove are the only two places in the world they can do a manta ray tour at night. 
So right here on the Kona Coast is the only place in the world you can do this. And it all started with one manta ray. Her name was Lefty Ray. She learned every single night there's gonna be a large amount of plankton in Keoho Bay. Now the manta ray itself is actually the smartest fish in the ocean. They learn very quickly and they mimic each other. So since Lefty Ray learned, another one followed, another one followed. Now we have 297 manta rays right here on the Kona Coast. Now the manta rays we're looking at tonight are called coastal manta rays. They're next to the coast their whole lives. The farthest they will go out is about a quarter mile out. So they don't go to Oahu, they don't go to Maui, they don't even go to the east side of the island. They're right here on the west side of the big island their whole lives. Now coastal manta rays are closely related to sharks, but without the teeth, related to a stingray, but without a stinger. They actually do not have any defense mechanism whatsoever, <laughs> so there's absolutely nothing that can hurt you with these guys. Now average size we'll see tonight is probably going to be around 5 to about 8 feet wide, somewhere in that range. Now the biggest manta ray we do have on the Kona Coast, her name is Big Bertha. She is uh, just about 14 feet wide, so she's about 2 feet wider than this boat, about 2,500 pounds.
How was that? Oh my god, it was amazing. <laughs> I am freezing, but it was 100% worth it. <laughs> wow, fantastic. Just Question. incredible. We finally made it back to the condo. Tonight was amazing. It was really cool. I mean, these things got so close to us. You look come down, right up to you. Yeah, you'd look down and there'd be like four or five of them and then you see this giant mouth coming towards you and then right when you think it's going to get to you, it turns its belly over and you're like, whoa. It, it was, was amazing. amazing. It was, it really, was really cool, cool because on the first one that came up, you could hear everybody snorkels. <laughs> Everybody's getting all excited and making a bunch of racket. Um, one touch dad. I felt one kind of brush against my stomach. They're huge. They're really huge. cool. One of the things when I when we were when I was looking up things to do here, this was the number one thing mm -hmm. on every list I found. And I 100% understand why. Because it was seriously one of the most impressive things I've ever seen in my life. It was amazing. Absolutely unbeatable. That's right. Dad just reminded us it is the only place you can do that. Hawaii has two spots along the Kona Coast. It's the only place in the world that you can go watch manta rays like that. Our footage turned out a little wonky because the lighting was really weird yeah. um, with the company that we went with so we are going to include at the end of this vlog some footage from uh our friend gary who has been hosting our host. us yes ho uh gary and his wife janie they have footage from their trip when they did this and theirs actually shows the real color of the manta rays and it's beautiful so we'll tack some on to the end of that it's a little bit of a treat for you i froze on this trip i was shivering about 30 seconds into the water everybody else was fine they had a great time to me i wasn't going to get out of the water until you made me even though it was cold so 100 percent worth it but definitely bring your own towels some companies offer towels the company that we went with did not so if you want to be somewhat dry for the 25 to 30 minute boat ride back to the dock area bring a towel if you're going to be on the big island for any amount of time this is a must. It is not cheap. It's about 130 bucks, and it, that varies depending on the company you mm -hmm. went with. So definitely shop around if you're looking for a good deal. But absolutely one of the coolest experiences of my life. Would do mm -hmm. again. Hopefully we get to come back and do it again. Definitely check it out. As my dad said earlier in the night... This is something he will never forget. I don't think it's anything we're ever going to forget. It was incredible. If you come to Hawaii, put it on your list. 